Hi, I'm Bogdan, that's B-O-G-D-A-N. I'm not a guitar builder, but I'm gonna build a guitar from scratch. How did I get here? Well, I've been watching Crimson Guitars channel um, for a while now, and they have this great guitar build of competition right now. It's between Ben from Crimson's and um, other great guitar builders, honestly. And a couple of days ago, they opened this competition to the public, which is great. However, I don't have a lot of tools and I don't have a lot of knowledge about building guitars. I live in a student accommodation in a very small room and I'm gonna make this even more challenging for myself. I'm gonna build everything from scratch. That means I'm gonna have to buy some wood. I'm gonna make the tuners, the bridge, the pickups. I will only buy the strings basically and the frets. I salvaged the frets from an older guitar that I someone has thrown away. Now, to make it even more challenging for myself, I have to build this with materials that I can only source locally, preferably from hardware stores, such as B&Q here in UK. This will make it at least 10 times harder. So the end goal over here now is to, at the, by, by the end of the competition, to have a working guitar, something that can be played, something that can be tuned, something, something that can hold its tuning, that can be adjusted, and that can be plugged in and sound like a guitar. <laughs> well, this is only a, a short introduction video, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna upload more videos soon, talking about how I'm gonna go about this. Now the task at hand might seem a little daunting at the beginning, but it really isn't. Um, It should be very easy to break a guitar down into its basic components. We need to understand first what a guitar is and what a stringed instrument is. A stringed instrument is basically some sort of a string stretched between something that amplifies the sound. Um, it's important to have something that can put some tension into the string and something that can hold its shape and so it, it, it doesn't um, collapse. Basically a piece of string that resonates stretch over a piece of wood might be a stringed instrument. Now for it to be a guitar we need six strings. For it to be an electric guitar we need six strings and a pickup. The pickup is also quite simple. It's, it's n there's no black magic in there. It's basically a piece of very thin wire wrapped around some magnets. And that's kind of it. So if we break it down into very little components, it might not be, it might not seem that complicated. And probably this, the, end, the end goal is to have a working guitar. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It has to work, but it has to work properly. It has to be able to be plugged in, played. It has to hold this tuning. It has to be comfortable to play. And it has to be able to be adjusted. So we have to be able to adjust the intonation or the string height. So that also requires a truss rod. Now a truss rod usually buy them pre-made. They can also make them. It's it shouldn't be that difficult. It's 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 a piece of threaded rod in the neck of the guitar that bows the the neck up or down. So it if you have a bow in the in the neck then that would bring it down, would straighten the neck. So now for the tricky bit because I cannot buy specialized guitar parts from the internet or any parts whatsoever. I had to go to some local hardware stores the other day and 
I I went to BNQ here in uh, UK, and I I found some wood. I found a couple of pieces of oak. This will be, I think, the neck glued together. Something. I'm gonna buy some more. Um, if I keep buying oak, it's gonna be very heavy. We'll see. They don't have that many options in terms of hardwood or anything else. So I still need to figure that out. But I think for the fretboard, I'm still gonna use oak. Um, have this little strip cut into, put it on there. Now, tool wise, I do have some tools. But I don't have a lot of specialized tools for working with wood. So I spent some time yesterday in, in the shop and bought a plane and some chisel, some chisels, sorry. Um, I do have a drill. I do have some, some files, some rasps, something like that. And also yesterday while I was in the market, I found this little saw, which I, I actually took it as a sign. So. This is one of them uh, bow saws that you can turn the, the blade around and cut um, curves in wood. So this is very nice. This is going to be very, very helpful. Now, yeah. um, now, it shouldn't take a whole lot of tools if I have some more time to play with it. I'm, um, if anything goes wrong, I'm just gonna have to sand it down until it's the right shape, right? Uh, so it generally shouldn't be very difficult. However, it is oak, it's hard, it's very hard wood. So I'm gonna have to learn how to sharpen my tools and um, just, just have fun, you know? Right, so after thinking about it for the last couple of days, I came up with a little plan for what's gonna come next. Um, because I have to build the tuners and the bridge and everything else myself. Th there has to be some, some design change. I cannot build the whole neck. I cannot build the same style of tuners. I have to improvise. So what I, what I came up with is not yet set in stone, but it's a good starting point. I'm thinking about um, a necklace design with the tuners on its back. And I'm thinking about very straight lines because I don't really have a band saw to cut curves. Now, I can try to use the bow saw, but might even be difficult with that. So I'm gonna try and keep it with straight lines. Um, as simple as possible. And this is one um, one possible design. Now, it, again, it's not set in stone, but it's something to work from. Anyways, I will stop talking now. Um, I will post updates. I hope I will post some videos regularly. Otherwise, I will post some pictures on my Instagram which I think will be linked down in the description. Um, thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.